everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another studio vlog if you're new here my name is ellen and i run my own small homemade business called sewn inspire the link to my Etsy shop is always in the description box if you just want to have a look um and on all my socials instagram tiktok facebook it's also an inspire if you wanted to keep up to date with what's going on so yes but this morning is very exciting because today i am packaging and sending off my first ever international order it's going to america um and yeah i'm very very excited about it um <laughs> so thank you so much to that person i think i think she watches the studio vlogs um, she always puts um, on her Instagram story of me on her TV, which literally blows my mind. So if you are watching this, then thank you so much. That is the plan. I'm still quite, like, gobsmacked. Also got three other orders as well. And they're all from people I don't know, which honestly blows my mind. Over the weekend, it was just crazy. So... Yes, thank you so much. I'm just grabbing what they've ordered. Um, this is currently out of stock, but I'm going to put it back in stock, I think, because um, this material seems to have been quite popular. So, yes. And then the other people have ordered masks. So, yeah, let's package it up. All of my orders are now packaged. I didn't end up filming it because I forgot. <laughs> Well done me, but we ended up going for a dog walk, so it all got a bit rushed, so. Yes, but my mum is just about to go to the post office because she's got an optician's appointment, so she's going at the same time. So, yeah, my first international order is going to go and I really hope it gets there. But I think I'm now going to cut out some of the tie-dye because... Hopefully it will be launching tomorrow or maybe Wednesday, I'm not sure. Okay, so I have now cut out all of the tie-dye stuff um, and I'm just about to sew that. But my mum is very kindly cutting out my scrubs for me whilst I sew the tie-dye stuff. Um, so yeah, we've got... Jane, this will be my last thing to cut out, scrubs to cut out. Yeah, I would have thought to just cut out probably, maybe, but not to say. Yeah, so I thought well, that was going to be the end like three, two, three weeks ago, but I have more now. So, well, to be honest, I wouldn't have known, like, I wasn't meant to have stuff to cut out, but then someone took too many bags and it was just a bit of an inconvenience. But anyway... Yeah, my mum is kindly cutting them out for me whilst I say the tie-dye collection, um, which hopefully hopefully will come out tomorrow, but it might be um, Wednesday. Good afternoon, everybody. It is now Tuesday, and <laughs> we have just been doing stuff in the studio, and I've been really busy all day um launching my tie-dye collection which i am i'm really happy with how it turned out actually so I'll just quickly show you what we've got in the collection we've got these two pink and blue tote bags um by the way once this is gone it's gone and yeah it won't be coming back for a little bit if it does come back if people like it so we also have the pink and blue tie-dye pencil cases and then we also do that in a green. And then here are the scrunchies, the pink, the green and the blue in scrunchies. Oh god, I'll pick that up in a minute. And then finally we have the pink, the blue and the green face masks. I think these, oh no, I love them all, I can't decide. I'm really happy with how they've all turned out. So, if you would like to um, purchase something, well, I'm pretty sure there will be something left, <laughs> but um, 
it, my the link to my Etsy shop is always in the description. Um, but then we've moved, kind of moved on to doing stuff in the studio. Um, and as my mum has the week off, she's very kindly been helping me quite a lot, haven't you? Um, <laughs> she's currently putting all this elastic around a little thing for me. Anyway, we've done this little gallery wall kind of thing with all of the um like sewing quotes that i got from, that my mum printed off for me for my birthday which i love so yeah they've all fitted perfectly um these are doors to lofts by the way but i'm kind of kind of disguise that because it looks a bit weird and then i've kind of redone the shelves a little bit i've just kind of changed them around um and now we're moving on to changing up the trolley because basically I think what's gonna happen is I've hung my tissue paper over this but it does have it's supposed to have hooks but I don't really have any use for them so and then it also has that little shelf which I'm going to put over lock of threads on I think and then it also comes with this little thing so I'm going to put ribbon and then my elastic and then my hairbands for making my scrunchies so and then I just have packing stuff in the top I need to move that paper so yeah I'm not really sure what I'm going to put on the rest of the trolley yet but yeah that's what we are doing currently so hopefully by the end of this week my studio will be looking a lot tidier and everything will just have a place because I feel like some things don't have a place at the moment which is making the studio really messy all the time because they just don't have a place so yeah Good morning, no, good afternoon, everybody. It is now Wednesday. So, this morning, me and my mum and I, sorry, um, we went charity shop shopping and we also popped into our local sewing shop, which I am obsessed with. I literally could have bought all of the fabric so I thought I'd do a little charity shop haul and a little sewing basically I'll just, just sewing haul really so we're gonna start off with um the sewing shop how cute are their bags so first thing that that we got were these and we literally we saw these and we were like i i need them basically they are pattern envelopes so it just says what you can write what pattern it is um and then maker's notes i'm not quite sure what artwork means I'm not sure but uh it was seven pounds and you get one ten envelopes and yeah they're great i'm probably not going to seal them because otherwise i have to rip them open all the time but yeah these are just going to be perfect next thing is this uh magnetic like wristband thing and my mum very kindly bought me this to say thank you for all of the um cards and things that i make for her because quite often i make her cross stitched cards or embroidery cards for family and friends i make her a lot of clothes and everything so she obviously didn't have to do that but she very kindly bought me one of these because i have been wanting one of these for ages i am so excited to use it next we got this pen oh how cute is this it's got a little sewing machine on the lid and i couldn't really leave it there so yeah and then I also couldn't leave this fabric there. It basically just has loads of sewing things on it, which is so cute. And I just got a little fat quarter. These are great if you just want a little bit, little bit of it. I, this was three pounds, so yeah. But their fabric is such good quality. I guess it was my mum, <laughs> but she basically treated herself to this gorgeous jersey. How amazing is this? I mean, it's not really, I, I personally wouldn't wear it, but my, it's like, it very, it's very my mum, if you know what I mean. Um, so, this afternoon, I think I'm going to make her 
a dress out of this um we got two meters of it so i'm i'm pretty sure there will be enough but um yeah it's absolutely gorgeous and then as we're part of their like reward scheme i think basically you have a card and if you spend over a certain amount you get a stamp um and at certain points like at one point i think you get however much off a fabric and then you get a free um thing of thread so i picked this one because we had passed the thread thing so yeah that is my little sewing haul <laughs> we went a bit um out there moving on to the charity shop so i purely um have got all of these items because i just love the fabric i will not be wearing them as clothes at all um i'm going to be making them into pence cases scrunchies maybe i don't think there's enough tote bags but you know the things i sell and then coming very soon on my etsy shop i'm gonna have like a um a re is it called recycled like re what's it called not regenerated upcycled that's it an upcycled section which is like made from um like recycled clothing items and i'm gonna have a whole denim section from old jeans and things like that so i'm very excited about that so i knew i was gonna go charity shopping very soon to try and find some things so first thing is this gorgeous scarf this i am feeling a scrunchie i think um but it's gorgeous and there's obviously so much fabric and it has these little tassels on it as well which may be used on a tote bag maybe or i don't really know but i just saw this and i loved the print so much so um all of these are going in the wash so i just thought i'd show you before they go in the wash and i also got this little um shirt kind of thing but i absolutely loved the material um i'm loving leopard print and this is kind of more of an understated leopard print so i thought this would be great for um scrunchies face pads things like that and then i got this little top um and i just loved the um fabric on this i don't know um i feel this will be good for marrow bags maybe and scrunchies um yeah this was only one pound 45 so i don't know i just loved the colors on it then i also got this t-shirt with this leopard print it's more of like an orange and yellow toned leopard print but i thought this would be good for scrunchies um face pads again like things like that um so hopefully and i might even see if i can make myself a little crop top out of this the last thing i got was this top here this was £2.25 and I got this because it's like it's really really lovely embroidered and then it has this whole I don't know what this is called but I just I thought it was really gorgeous the um front of it and I thought this would be good for marrow bags I see this in a marrow bag um very much so if you know me by now you'll know that I literally only make clothes out of these and i am making the what's it called basically it started off as a top it's called the breton breton top maybe so it looks like this but then they do like two variations of it which is another thing i love about this book so you can make the t to make it into a short sleeve t-shirt or the thing I'm going to be making, but I'm actually going to make it short sleeved instead of long sleeved. Um, it's the dress. And I've made one of these for my mum before and it was really easy. Really easy to follow. Um, so yeah, I am very excited to sew this. I also realised yesterday, this is the finished shelf. So 
This is actually a birthday card that I got for my birthday, but I thought it looked gorgeous in this frame. Um, I love it so much. I'm not sure where it's from. It might be from the same show, it's sewing shop actually. And then I've just got my tie-dye masks here and all my pencil cases. Meryl bags, there's a few missing because they're over there. Scrunchies and more face masks. Then I've moved my fabric down a shelf and in there I've got face pads and then more fabric there. So yes, at the moment this is working a lot better. And then the trolley situation is I've got my tissue paper hanging, I've got my ribbon, my elastic and my hair ties, all my overlooking threads, all my zips so they're like so much easier to get to and then stuff that is already cut out and just ready for me to make so yes and oh sorry there's so many things for me to update you on i've got another order for um to go to norway in studio vlog like two maybe three weeks ago i mentioned this um lovely lady who's from norway who messaged me um and found me and yeah she placed an order as soon as she knew um about the international international shipping which honestly it's just amazing because i know it is quite expensive um just because of the import tax and everything like that i'm i'm so sorry i don't really i hope i'm not like you're not being overcharged but yes so she's ordered a tote bag no one she is the first person to order a tote bag ever in the history of so and inspire so thank you so much to her because i know you do watch my videos but i know you've been busy with work recently on now and the dress is finished and I'm really happy with how it turned out um the last time I made this dress I couldn't work out how I did the neck how you do the neckline so I just did my own thing but I was literally I was being so stupid uh, it was really easy <laughs> so I've now actually done the neckline properly this is what it looks like um it's not really that complicated really I just had to um is it called understitch? I think. I had to understitch it and then fold it over and uh, stitch it down three centimetres. So I don't know why I didn't understand that before, but yeah, this is the finished dress. My mum looks amazing in it. This um, fabric is just her. I wasn't actually sure if I bought enough fabric for the dress because in the book it said I needed two and a half meters and I only bought two but I ended up also managing <laughs> to get a top out of it as well um I used the same pattern that I did for the top I made in last week's studio vlog from um the A Great British Sewing Bee book um but yeah this is the top also love this um I had to make it a little bit shorter and the sleeves a little bit shorter just so it would fit but it really hasn't it's to be honest the other top was a very very oversized top like the sleeves were super baggy um and this is kind of just like a normal fitting top so it really wasn't too bad at all but i just need to press the sleeve seams um but yeah they both look amazing on my mum so if you would like to go and see them i will probably pop up pictures on the screen here but um, go follow me on Instagram. It's where you can keep up to date with like everything current and things like that. So yes, I think I am now going to make the pencil cases that the lady in Norway ordered. Here are 
the pencil cases that she ordered. This, I feel like, will just be always there, if you know what I mean. It's just going to be one of my base items. Well, both of these, actually. And then this has actually been quite popular. Um, it's just our little see-through one. Um, by the way, if when you first get it, the zip is quite, um, like, not. it's not difficult to open. But basically, all I'm trying to say is it loosens up over time. <laughs> Trust me, like, it's not difficult to open or anything, but just an FYI. Sunday everybody. I have edited the studio vlog um, this morning and I think I'm just gonna end it here. I was gonna film something else and show you some bits and bobs but the studio vlog is already quite long and to be honest I just kind of feel like having a chill day so I'm going to finish editing the studio vlog and get it up for you, um, but I thought I should probably end it, so if you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe, because I've loved that so much. But yeah, I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you next Sunday at 5pm for a brand new video. Bye!